take the weather element out of lambing? The obvious answer would be no, but we explored what the UK has been doing for years and adapted it to New Zealand's conditions. Increasing lamb survival in our triplet ewes was the catalyst for our intensive indoor lambing trial. In 2011, our scanning result was 220% in our mixed age ewes, and for high lambing numbers of triplet ewes in previous years, we knew the probability of high lamb and ewe wastage was an issue. By lambing our most vulnerable ewes indoors, we found we could considerably decrease lamb and ewe deaths. Our biggest influence at lambings comes from a ewe with the most opportunity to wean more live weight. After visiting many farms across the UK in 2011, we found it was possible to take the weather element out of lambing and make it ethical and profitable at the same time. Small ewe flocks in the UK mean they can run this type of system quite effectively, but we wanted to explore if it could be done with triplet bearing ewes and on a larger scale. We had a great deal to learn, so who better to teach us than English? This was paramount to the trials. They were able to teach us many animal husbandry tips and tricks, not only in the lambing shed but in the orphans as well. We did come across several issues along the way, with some easier to overcome than others. Finding the right stuff from the job, metabolic issues in the ewes and shed space are some examples. All ewes are scanned into 10 day cycles to allow us to move a set number of ewes through the shed at one time. This also allows the ewes to be indoors for a maximum of only 5 days and therefore not compromising New Zealand's competitive advantage of being a grass based system. Again, a randomly selected control mob was left outside to compare the two options. Labour and feed were the two highest costs for this trial. How did they stack up against the control mob and what implications does this have further down the track for the lambs and ewes involved in this trial? If you have any questions or queries about this trial, then we encourage you to text or email your questions into us before the 7th of July. On the 7th, we will be holding a panel discussion with our Demo Farm Advisory Board at Cockthorn, Solway and Masterton. During the panel discussion, we will answer your questions and present the results from each of these trials. So for more information, go to www.beeflambnz.com and search Demonstration Farm Discussion Panel. You'll be able to register online to attend or follow the link to email or text in your questions.